days after it started, the Cape Horn wildfire, 0% contained. Well, it is a stalemate tonight on the banks of Lake Ponderé. That Cape Horn fire still raging, threatening Bayview, but it hasn't grown in the last 24 hours. The fire started Sunday and quickly consumed 2,000 acres and at least six homes. While firefighters battle from the ground, air and water, that fire is still considered very dangerous. KXY Force Grace Ditzler working for you. She's live in Bayview tonight. And Grace, firefighters say even though this fire isn't contained, they feel like they're making progress. That's right, Nadine. The firefighters I spoke to said they've had two good days of fighting this fire, so they hope that containment number will go up soon. The heavy, smoky air here in Bayview reflects the heavy hearts of the community as residents anxiously watch the Cape Horn fire burn. Firefighters from around the region continue to battle the flames. Right now, uh, there's zero percent containment on the fire. Uh, we're, the estimate right now is about 2,000 acres. Um, our fire crews are in the process of GPSing the fire line, and we're going to most likely be getting some infrared imaging tonight um, so we can get more accurate size on that fire. Today, small bursts of rain hit Bayview, but not enough to make a significant difference. We got some pretty dry conditions here uh, and um, a lot of folks are thinking as soon as it rains that's a good thing. Um, for the fire behavior to start lessening we need a consistent wetting rain uh, so a mist over 24 hours is way better uh, to squelch the fire behavior than like a thunderstorm. So far six homes have burned but that number could increase once the fire is out. As we uh, start doing uh, uh, evaluating what's going on and there will be better able to give hard numbers on that. Meanwhile, evacuated residents wait anxiously to get back to their homes to see if they're still standing. Now, when you're a, a homeowner and you got a fire in your backyard, it's it's really trying. And uh, we're, we understand that and our job is to, to help get them as much information as possible um, and, uh, and get them back to their home as quickly and safely as we can. Firefighters say one of the challenges in fighting this fire is the steep terrain. Some places firefighters can't get to on foot, so they're continuing to fight this also from the air and the water. Nadine? Grace, any word when residents can get back to their homes or even when Bayview will be back open to the public? Not yet. Fighter fighters say as soon as it's safe to return, they're going to let the public know that information right away. There's also a public meeting for the community members tonight at the Bayview Community Center. That starts at 8 o'clock. Reporting live in Bayview tonight, Grace Stitzler, KXLY 4 News.